Six Feet Under, what a, what a program that was. What, what was it like uh, being on that show um, uh, about a family and a funeral home and the father has passed away, but he's still there talking to everybody? What a brilliant program yeah. that was. What was that like for it was, you? It was incredible. That? It was like um, five seasons, a magical time, and sort of like the, the, the wave upon wave of like great television that we have now. I mean, that was the – I was sort of on the, the crest of the first wave of TV's golden age, you know. When I, when I read the script for that pilot, it was, it was something that was – as good, if not better, than anything I'd ever had the chance to audition for in, in any medium. You know, it was a, uh, it was an, it was an amazing time. It yeah, was, it was like living a parallel life um, with a, with a, what felt like a very real, rich family in a very, very fully realized world. You know, right. And then you got know, when The Sopranos was on the air on HBO. Right, it was your show. Yeah, that's and... right. It was, it was, uh, it was during that time. Oh my gosh. No doubt about it. And I just remember it was dark, but it was also um, moving. It, it, it really was, you know. And Yeah, you know, one of the most gratifying things is I still hear from people who talk about how somehow watching that show about these people running a funeral home and dealing with death maybe helped them as they navigated some sort of loss in their own life. And, I mean, you know, that's about as good a thing as you could hear from somebody about the work you do, that it somehow helps them deal with their struggles, you know? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, congrats on the return of Dexter. Like I said, I'm, I'm a fan. And, you know, maybe we get your sitcom. What do you think? Just like, you know, like live studio yeah, audience. Yeah, i got to lighten it up. What do you think? You know, I mean. Yeah, do, if, i got to do it for mom. <laughs> a monastery sitcom. <laughs> i got to be honest with you. I, I, I've never met your mom, and I never talk about other people's mothers, but maybe she should, you know, not pitch ideas. You know what I mean? Like that sort of thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if TV executive is definitely in her future, that's for sure. <laughs> well, congrats on Dexter yeah. New Blood and the return of your character. Is it possible that there's more to come with the success of this? Another... I can't say definitively because it would, uh, <laughs> it would tip the scale. Okay. I don't want right. to spoil anything. All right, very good. Uh, thank you for that answer. I will, I will accept the coy response and send you <laughs> on with your rest of your Friday. Thank you for the call, Michael. Really appreciate right, it. Thanks a lot. You bet. Right. That's it. Michael Bye-bye. C. Hall right here on the Rich Eisen Show. That means yes, I think. Tip the scales, right? I mean, I, I love Dexter when it was on. Obviously, the ending was a little disappointment, so I'm super excited to see oh, how I'm they're going to do jealous. it right now. I'm jealous of fans of the show, too. Yeah, you know? it's so like great. Th- that, that you get something back. Oh, That's why I never awesome. want Curb Your Enthusiasm to end, ever. There's no reason for it to end, unless Larry doesn't want to do it anymore, yeah. and it's just like a... It's just like to do the same thing and just push that rock off the same hill, and you don't want to do it and hope that it's not as good. Not as good. Yeah, oh God! Of course. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.